An elevator motor produces 7,900 watts of power. How fast can it lift a 310 kilogram load? Okay, so again we have a power question. We're given the power. We asked velocity, okay, and we're uh, given the mass. Now again, what we're trying to do is overcome friction, uh, not friction, uh, gravity. We're trying to overcome gravity. In other words, we need to produce a, a force in this direction that is equal to the weight that's in the opposite direction. So this force must also in magnitude be the same as mass times gravity. Okay, which in this case mass is 310, gravity at 9,8. In other words, we need a force, an upwards force of how much? 310 3, times 9.8 gives me 3038 3038 newtons okay so that we have the force that we need that is upwards why did I calculate that well look at the formula our formula needs the force in the direction of the motion times the velocity okay now we know that power is 7,900. That's the amount of watts that this, en this engine or this motor can produce and it needs to produce with that wattage a force of 3,038 newtons. So that is going to affect the velocity at which it can lift it. So what is the velocity at which it can lift that load at a constant velocity, by the way? Let's see, we just divide both sides with the 3,038. So you get 7,900 7, divided by 3,038. What do we get? 2.6. That's actually a nice answer. 2,6 meters per second. Okay, upwards. And there we go.